Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, we have to give a shout out to our sponsor, Displate. We'll talk more about their awesome metallic prints at the end, but with that being said, enjoy the video. Do you see what happened when you don't listen? I told you to wait for me. Those monsters just beat me up and threw me into a dumpster. Their thirst for blood was like nothing I've ever seen before. Next time, don't talk to strangers. They were first graders. How was I supposed to know they were so aggressive? Come on, man. Everyone knows that first graders are one of the most aggressive species in the world. Here, put this on your eye. It'll help with the swelling. Oh, thank you. Anyway, are you hungry? I'm about to make a burrito. Ooh, I love burritos. Hands down, my favorite ones are from Taco Bell. Take this. What's this one for? Your other eye. What do you mean my other eye? Ah, uh, what the heck? Don't you ever disrespect burritos like that again, or I'll take you to the dumpster I found you in and personally wait for the dump truck to take you away. Dang, sorry I like burritos from Taco Bell. You know I take food serious, and fast food burritos are not real burritos. Oh, I didn't know there was a difference. Let me put it in a way that you understand. Is there a difference between store-bought mayonnaise and the mayonnaise your grandma makes? Duh, the one my grandma makes is way better. She makes hers with fresh ingredients, and most importantly, Love. Exactly. And my granny uses her feet to smash the ingredients, which adds to the flavor. That's gross, but okay. Well, that's how I feel about burritos. You can have all the ingredients, but if it's not made fresh and with love, then I simply don't want it. Okay. Yeah, I get it now. Well, let's make some burritos then? Hold on. Before we make them, I need to teach you about the history. Why can't we ever just eat? He always has to explain everything. What was that? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. So, what does a real burrito look like? Like this. The oldest recorded history that we have on burritos comes from a dictionary called Diccionario de Mexicanismos, or Dictionary of Mexican Spanish. It has an entry from 1895 that says burritos are rolled flour tortillas with meat or other ingredients. Oh, wow. So burritos have been around for a while. Yeah, they have. They've stood the test of time because there's a burrito variation for everyone. Some people like burritos with extra meat, with or without cheese, or even a wet burrito. Wet burrito? That sounds kind of unappetizing. No, they're delicious. Wet burritos are burritos smothered in chili sauce. Oh, interesting. Anyway, once burritos made it to the US, that's when they started looking like the burritos we eat today. Burritos were heavily influenced by California and Tex-Mex cuisine. What do you mean by that? Instead of having a small thin burrito with one or two ingredients, now we have these large, fat, overstuffed burritos that are filled with meat, cheese, rice, beans, and pretty much whatever your heart desires. Oh man, my heart really desires a burrito right now. Okay, now we can make some. How did you do that? Eh, don't worry about it. Okay, so the first step in making a burrito is the tortilla. Specifically a flour tortilla, right? Exactly. Next step is adding the ingredients. What do you want in your burrito? Everything. Then add everything. Okay, a little bit of beans. Ooh, and some rice. A handful of cheese. A lot of meat. A generous amount of guac. And boom! Ingredients are in. Next step is to roll it up. Okay. Um, how do I do that? To roll a burrito, you first fold the sides, then you bring the bottom flap over the ingredients and you tuck it towards you, then you slowly and tightly roll it and boom, you have a burrito. Wow, this is beautiful. Wait till you try it. Mm. Mm, this is so amazing, so fresh and decadent. You were right, burritos made with love are the best. <clears throat> this is weird. It <clears throat> tastes a bit spicy, but I didn't put any spice in it. Come on, Chris, there's like no spice in there. <laughs> no, for reals, this is really spicy. I gotta go. <laughs> Come on, 
He should have known better than to let me roll his burrito. What is up guys? Hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a like because it helps us a lot. And once again, a huge shout out to Display for sponsoring today's video. Display makes these amazing metallic prints with over 1 million designs to choose from, from your favorite brands like Star Wars, Marvel, NASA, Power Rangers, and so many more. And what's dope about this product is how easy it is to install on your wall. Because all you have to do is put this protective leaf on your wall, and then you put a magnet over that, and once you do that, all you do is attach your poster to it. And if you ever get tired of a print, you can swap it out easily. Don't tell me that wasn't easy. That was easy. So make sure you guys go check it out because it's a great alternative to standard canvas printing. Honestly, this is one of the coolest brands that we work with, and they have a product that we stand by. And also, if you guys use our affiliate link, you could get up to 37% off if you order three or more prints. And if you guys order, you'll definitely be supporting our channel. So I highly recommend doing it. So go to their website, pick your favorite display, and with that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Mwah! <laughs>